Sebastian Rogers' case has turned into a complete circus, and it's so frustrating because the focus should remain on Sebastian, instead of all the drama that's going on. A 15-year-old boy is still missing, and we are nearly at the three-month mark. There's been no updates from law enforcement, and I worry that they are still at square one. A day or so ago, things took a turn in this case, and the internet went crazy when Tony Mathis, Seth Rogers' spokesperson, made some alarming claims online. Take a listen. Hey, that, um... Well, last night we got information that Sebastian was actually communicating with Katie's mom the night before he went missing. We got information from law enforcement today that uh, there was actual footage of Sebastian on the 26th. And we thought that the last footage they had was on the 25th. So we know now they've got additional footage. The biggest thing I think is that we got information from them that they had a theory the first 72 hours and after 72 hours that theory took a 180 degree turn and that's what i think was the biggest information it seems that he got this information from a man on tiktok stephen michael crabtree who claims to have spoken to law enforcement it was claimed that sebastian spoke to katie's mother via text before he vanished keep in mind that katie's mother is a registered offender it was also stated that sebastian was seen on camera on the 26th which took everyone by surprise People went nuts with this so-called accurate information coming from someone who spoke to law enforcement. The last known footage of Sebastian was on the 25th, leaving the restaurant with his mother, Katie Proudfoot. There was some footage that evening, but it was so grainy and dark that no one could be sure if that was Sebastian or not. So, this new information about Sebastian being seen on footage on the 26th was really interesting. Turns out they've backtracked on that information, and claimed that it was a misunderstanding, Sebastian was last seen on the 25th, and there is no footage on the 26th. Hey guys, I just want to come on here before any lives or anything like that, and I'm sure a couple people might say something about this, but I am a man. When I make a mistake, I'll come here and say it. Now, I had the opportunity to have the um, major of the, the head guy over the criminal investigations unit, Tim Bailey, had the opportunity to talk to him today. And what I will tell you is I made a very, very crucial mistake when misspeaking about the camera footage that they have and all the footage that they have gathered. They have not seen Sebastian past the date of the 26th that he went missing. This is my fault for saying, for, for me making an understanding after talking to him that when we were talking and was talking about all the camera footage and I had asked the question, he was simply stating, no, they have, they have gathered every bit of footage they could from all the cameras that they could, and including the one where, you know, it was said that, you know, he was in the area. They went to those locations and was, you know, where they could get camera footage and got those. I thought that he said that, or, or took it as a way of like, oh, no, yeah, so the day that he was, that we have footage that he has seen past that date. Um, Cindy will be able to explain this a lot better. She also talked to him. Um, there's a lot of things, man, um, that I can say. But first and foremost, I want to apologize, investigator. I don't do that stuff. I'm not a crime talk. I'm going to make a mistake. And I've always said this on every one of my videos. Check my information. Do your own research. And you find out. And unfortunately, uh, I, you know, trying to be helpful, it would be something that would be very bad in the sense of like where it got out to in that in the fact it put hopes out there that were false and making and making seth believe that you know that his son had been seen past that date of the 26th that i am truly sorry for and when talking to tim tim was very very nice very positive um he said you know one of the main reasons why he did not you know that that they don't like doing press releases every day, right? like in every week or anything. It's because in all honesty, he doesn't want to deliver nothing birds. He don't want to get Seth and the family's hopes up. There's a lot more to this. I can say that you can't, I can't put into words um, correctly because I don't think I'm the person that should be doing this, right? This should come from Tony, Cindy, people that are credible. Um, me, um, I went up there absolutely, and, and and Tim did tell me that David and our conversation was recorded, which is great to know. So you should be able to get that information, right? Um, but first and foremost, I wanted to come on here without going on anybody's lives and tell you, 
hey, I made a big fucking mistake on a key detail point when it come to if Sebastian Rogers was seen on the 26th or, you know, after the 26th. And that is my fault. I'm a man of integrity, and when I make a mistake, I will happily own up to that mistake. I'm sure I'll get ridiculed and drug all over the place, but at the end of the day, it ain't going to stop me from doing the preparations for planning for a search team to come and do what I got to do to take part and to be able to bring Sebastian home. Now, do that what you will. I will tell you this. Miss Cindy will have her live later. She's phenomenal, and I am so thankful to have a friend in Cindy who was able, when I, when I talked to her today, hey, man, call you call Tim Bailey too. You get what you hear and you tell me what you hear and stuff like that. That way if I if, if there's anything that I might have miscommunicated, she has the correct facts on that. And I am super happy to have somebody like her because again, I'm not an investigator. I'm just a guy from Hendersonville that posts stuff and this case took a part it, it took a big part of me and um it means a lot to me. That being said, moving forward, I, I <laughs> rule number one, Stephen is not an investigator. Leave that to the people that do it. Um, I just wanted to, I wanted answers. And, you know, I found out from Tim today that they are absolutely talking to media and stuff, though. Um, you know, it's just maybe it's not what people want to hear that there's nothing to be said right now. They, But they are absolutely day in and day out working this case. But anyways, that's my saying. I am truly sorry to the Rogers family, um, Katie, Chris, everybody, Seth, that that false information was given out there, but I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. And that's what I'll say. Well, according to Nick Beers, who has been in contact with the lead investigator with the Sumner County Sheriff's Office, who says all the latest rumors are garbage.